This is Hacienda Sansenberg. It's this really cute little campground. Uh, we've been here for three nights and we're the only people here, which is nice. There's room for three, possibly four other campers or like one bigger vehicle, but definitely it's a little more set up for like tents or like rooftop tents or vans. And this is definitely like a working finca. They have ducks and rabbits and guinea pigs and horses and chickens and all kind of cool animals. Plus they have 10 dogs that live here. There's a nice fire pit and there's a little shelter area. The shelter is nice and it's okay for cooking, but uh, the table is really big and it doesn't go under very far. So if it's really raining, you might still be getting wet. They have Wi-Fi here. It's fairly slow, but it is Wi-Fi. There is one electrical plug-in that you can like charge your devices or your cooler or anything like that. And it's right at the bathroom. The bathrooms are nice, uh, they're clean. And this would be a really great camping spot if you were coming with a couple of campers, like a couple of vehicles or like a family camp, something like that and just like take up the whole area that would be really really nice. Campers are allowed to use the pool free of charge. There's two little cabinas um, and they look we peeked in the window they look really super cute really nice pool area they've got lots of lounge chairs and a little shaded area so it's up a secondary highway a bit of a slow go but nothing like nothing impassable but it's definitely a little bit treacherous so definitely pick up any supplies before you come up here there's nothing really close by and so if you're looking for somewhere to come and get away and just relax for a few days it's like hang out here use the pool read a book submerge yourself in nature this is a really great spot and they do offer breakfast as well uh, we didn't have the breakfast because I usually cook us breakfast one of the things that uh, we've really been enjoying we only have planned like the next one or two spots ahead so we don't have the whole route set out we don't have like any set timeline that we're gonna stay at a camp other than if we like it we plan to stay for a couple of days it's nice to just like really relax and be a little bit more spontaneous and just kind of figure it out as we go. We've traveled a ton of time. You only have so many days off work. We've done so many trips where the timeline is really rushed. A couple of motorbike trips, we went all the way from Alberta, Canada down to San Diego, 10 day there and back trip. And like there were some days we were on the bike 10, 12 hours, a couple days like driving through torrential rain because we had to make the distance. Otherwise we wouldn't make it back to work in time. This has been a really uh, blessing um, that we've been able to, to do this. We're in Costa Rica. We're way up in the hills um, above the town of Miramar, which Miramar is a ways off the southern Pacific coast. It's called Camping Pura Vista. It's a little more off the beaten path. People wouldn't just happen upon this place because it is out of the way and the road getting up here is passable but a little bit treacherous. Don't let the rainy season in Costa Rica deter you from coming. Most of the time, the last like month or so, it rains in the afternoon. So usually sometime after lunch, it starts to rain for a little bit. Kind of cools everything down, keeps everything green. Just be ready for it. Good time to take a nap, read a book, catch up on a little bit of computer work, something like that. And then it usually clears off in the evening. And it does make for some like killer storm watches if you like to watch storms. We've seen a lot of lightning in Costa Rica, which is really, really fun to sit outside and watch. This is the camping area. You can see some little raindrops in the pool. We like to sit in there and have our morning coffee. I think that's honestly what you have to do in Costa Rica or Nicaragua, places that have a rainy season. You just have to embrace it. Have, you know, don't be afraid of the rain. Most of the time it's still really warm, so it's perfect. Have a good rain jacket. And just, if it really, really starts raining, have somewhere that you can get out of the rain. We can hop in the tent if it's really rainy. Lots of places also have like a covered shelter somewhere so we can hop under the shelter. We chose to be right out at the viewpoint, so we don't have electricity right there, but that's totally fine. Um, we can use any of the electricity plugins. And there's a couple over here at the rain shelter, which I'm gonna run towards because it is really starting to rain now. I made it. 
This is the covered shelter here. It's quite nice. They've got like these nice um, benches and tables and there's electrical plugins, there's lights. At our camp this morning, um, up on top of the hills in Costa Rica, uh, near Tajo Alto, we are in full gypsy caravan mode this morning with all of our laundry. The area that we're in right now, there's not very much breeze and it's fairly humid. We find that things don't dry very well, like even like just hanging up like our dish towel. It's kind of always a little bit damp. In the tent, there's always a little bit of condensation. Um, you know, your pillowcase just feels like a little bit damp, even though it never actually got wet. Last day at, uh, where are we? Camping Pura Vista view here is gorgeous yeah. like we can look down on clouds in the valley they have a really good thing going on here with uh, really fast wi-fi they got a pool Whoa. <coughs> the pool behind us is beautiful they also have a really big pile of wood just for uh, for burning and one great thing about this campsite is it has warm showers first time we had hot showers at a campsite ever yeah since we left it's a great spot a little off the beaten path but that's kind of like we like that. We like going places that are not like where everyone else is going to be. We're here camping at Casa Toucan. This is the view right across from our tent. And this is um, the one side, maybe the back side, of the Torrealba volcano, which is the second highest volcano in Costa Rica. This is glamping. They've got several different cabins, a couple of different sizes that you can rent. And we've seen the inside, they're really nice little cabins. And each cabin does have its own separate bathroom and shower. And then they have communal little hangout area. There is a bathroom and showers here. There's a little kitchen in the back. So if you're camping and you need to use the kitchen, they also do offer breakfast in the morning. They do have some tour options available from this location. So if you're traveling through and you're looking to take some excursions, there is is a nice communal fire pit so they light up a fire every evening this little path around the back takes you to one more cabin this one's really secluded it's nice it's got a little balcony that looks out the back but over the back there's also a short little walking trail it's maybe like a 10 minute walk um, and it just does a little loop. There's a little lookout point down there. It is all steps though. So if you're not a fan of steps, probably give that walking path a miss. And then just beside the house in between the cabins, there's a spot for one, maybe two vehicles to camp. Um, they used to be a lot more set up for camping, but they've expanded their cabins and their glamping. I and mean, the owner built this new house. So there's not really as much room for camping, but it is well equipped. Today we are camping and we're making some fried green banana french fries. Um, we were at this coffee farm camping and uh, Chris found a banana tree that had fallen down and had all these bananas on it. And so we thought we'd take them with us, um, hoping that they'd ripen. And the internet says if it doesn't ripen in a couple days, they're not going to. So we we're looking for something to make with these bananas or do with them. So these are your fried banana french fries. They're hot and they're ready. They're great with ketchup, mayo, however you like your french fries, or just plain. And that's camp cooking with Tova. So we've spent uh, three nights here camping at Casa Toucan Glamping. Um, we did find the Monai Overlander and tomorrow we're gonna get packed up and head on to the next spot. We'll see you there. Hi y'all, so we're here kind of at a really cool spot, uh, Casa Yaya's, I think is how you say it, and um, it's in a small little town, a little bit outside of 
Gracia. It's kind of like a hybrid camping overlanding Airbnb spot. So they have two little apartments and they do rent on Airbnb. It's like full kitchen, bathroom, all that kind of stuff. But they also offer it to overlanders. So you park in their secure parking area and then they open up one of the little apartments and it would be shared by multiple overlanders if there were multiple people here. Um, so you don't have access to the bedroom, but you have like the kitchen, the bathroom and like living room hangout area and then you sleep in your vehicle. So we've kind of enjoyed a little bit of inside time. Um, there's a couch. <laughs> so we were like sitting on the couch in the evening instead of sitting outside every night uh, just to mix it up a little bit. So they do have this other outside covered area. Um, and kind of a fun story, the two gals that run this place, um, Barb and Daniela, they moved down here from Colorado in like a big RV, like a huge RV. And they, um, they had this, this covered area built actually around their RV. So definitely this place, even though they came in an RV, I would say is not RV friendly. Um, one, the roads getting here would be like crazy in an RV. So I can only imagine like, uh, the drive that they had getting here when they moved down but um also there's not like a huge parking area so it's fairly small here's chris we're just having some uh morning coffee and he's been getting some good photos of the birds and the bees and the butterflies and geckos and all kind of things great spot if you're looking to get out of the rain or just looking for uh, maybe a little bit more of a full kitchen or just you know it's along your your travel path that's it for the video let's uh let's split <laughs> i just thought i'd slip that in <laughs> These are the kind of jokes I have to live with all the time. If you love mountains and coffee, you can camp at a coffee farm. You'll find these videos on our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next amazing adventure as we outline how much it costs to camp for one month in Costa Rica.